As an oculoplastic surgeon, I am also trained in performing enucleation and eviscerations. These are procedures that involve the removal of a blind and painful eye. These are not commonly performed procedures in our office, but when indicated, they help allow a patient to heal better from an eye that is causing them a lot of suffering and pain. These two procedures are similar, but they, at the end of the day, have different techniques. One involves complete removal of the eyeball, which is an enucleation, and the other one involves almost a complete removal, which is called evisceration. At the end of the day, that's a discussion that we have with our patients to determine what is the best option for them, which procedure works best for them. And after the procedure is performed, we team up with an ocularist, which makes a prosthetic eye to allow for that eye to be rehabilitated and make it look as similar to the other eye, even though it's a non-seeing eye. This particular patient underwent an enucleation where the eyeball was removed because of very bad trauma that he had. The eye was already blind, it was non-functional, and it was extremely painful. And then once the eyeball was removed, I placed an implant to replace the space of that eyeball that was removed. And then an ocularist went in and did their fine work to make a prosthetic eye that will allow for that eyeball to now look as similar to the other one. If you need a nucleation or an evisceration and wish to see consultation, please visit our office, make an appointment, and we look forward to meeting with you.